What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. No, we're not at the circus today. <laughs> we are messing with this tent awning uh, that I picked up for the rack. Camping in Texas, lots of sun, super hot, not fun. But I got this uh, vintage awning that's almost the original colors and pattern uh, as the one that came with the bus. But it's much bigger. It's 10 feet wide and it's like 8 feet deep. Way more shade. Um, so we're gonna make a frame for it today and uh, I found something awesome on the internet from a company called Maker Pipe. Uh, they make these really cool little connectors and they make all the different shapes and sizes that you, that you would need uh, to connect anything really to uh, just EMT tubing. Um, this is half inch but those are made for three quarter. So I got a bunch of three quarter over there. We're gonna chop it up and uh, make the, make the three uh, sticking out pieces. Make the legs that stick up here. Maybe a piece that goes across the front. Uh, and then we'll use these connectors, which are pretty much just like the ones that factory connectors used for this. Uh, and they just go together with basically uh, just a 10 millimeter wrench and a little Allen. And it happens to be the same Allen that fits your engine tin. Uh, bolts if you got those from me you know just pop in there and tighten them down and we got a sturdy frame so we're gonna chop those up and try and put it together and see if we can do it with one person we'll see how long it takes me come on let's go get the saw All right, so I've got my trusty tape measure here. And I've got, pulling it tight from there, I've got eight foot four. And that's a little bit extra uh, because we want it to be tight. So I'm gonna make a little bracket there with a pin on it that I can hook the end on. And it'll actually push this out nice and tight. So it's eight foot four out here. I might cut it at eight six six. We can always trim it just a little bit if we need to. So we'll try that. All right, so three of these are the ones that come from the bus out. So those are all gonna cut at eight foot six. One of these goes across the middle um, and because of the way that bracket is, I gotta cut it right in the center. So that's gonna be five feet uh, on each side. So let's go ahead and get the grinder and uh, we'll measure these out and we'll get them all cut up and then hopefully everything goes together super nice and easy. One thing with these connectors that's a little weird and they say it right on the website so I shouldn't be surprised um, but I thought I could find a way around it and I think I did. In the corner of these you have to put a piece of pipe in order for this to pinch correctly on the piece that you want. If you don't put it in there they pinch too hard in here and this side opens up and the pipe falls out and everything falls apart. Um, I don't know necessarily if I want that to be the leg um, that drops down in the corner to hold it up. I mean, it's a logical place to put it, but I got the clamps where I can put it wherever I want it. And uh, if I want to do them back to the tire, get them out of the way, I'm trying to keep the legs out of the way. I also don't want one right in the middle, which I have a piece for there too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut from these drops, short little pieces to dip in there so that it'll be like a placeholder. It'll still get tight, but I don't have to have the rest of the pipe on there. Um, so I'm going to go cut those up real quick. I need four, five, six of them, I think, or three. I don't know. I'm gonna, just going to go cut a whole bunch of them, and uh, we'll come back and try to get this thing put together.
now what we can do, we can drop these in to the centers here. Get them a uh, little bit snugged up just to kind of hold it in there, but we want to be able to get the, the pipe in there. So not too much. I want to try and make this as easy as possible uh, so when I get to the campsite, we can just kind of, you know, stab it together. So what I may do is run a little screw or something through here just to keep that in, uh, keep that all together. Uh, and I just did three for now because that's what I need for the outer edge. Uh, these other three connectors are for if I want to make the front to back pieces uh, also five feet or you know four and a half feet, whatever it is, shorter uh, for packing if the 10 foot long ones are too long. So these will go in the middle of those to kind of shorten them up. And I may do that. Uh, but for right now, I'll just get this put together full size just to see how she works. I'm getting excited. I've had this awning for over a year and I haven't been able to use it because I couldn't figure out, you know, the leg situation. So that's a corner. You just drop that in there. Tighten that up like that. This will go sort of this way, and then it'll connect in the middle once it's in there. But this one, which ties the middle piece to the two end pieces, and then one more corner piece, uh, that's this five footer here. And we'll have a nice little E shaped frame, and then we'll make the little uh, pads with the you know the little spike on them, so we can jam the other end in there and keep it nice and tight. That's why we cut those eight foot ones a little bit long. Uh, so we'll see if it works. All right, that's good. All right, let's go get this thing set up. ends of the, the original tent for now because uh, they're adjustable. I got to find a way to make those adjustable I think uh, just because you know here we got a little ramp up. Sometimes you camp you want to lean one corner down uh, for the rain let the rain drip off so I'm gonna have to come up with an adjustable leg. Uh, these work just fine there's no reason not to use them. I want to pack up the rest of the original tent and uh, you know, keep it safe because it's so super nice. It's only been up, you know, maybe a dozen times since original. So this is higher, this is bigger. This is virtually the same colors and patterns. So technically sort of correct looking and with the old pipe style of uh, frame going together, it looks vintage. That's really cool too. Uh, so let's get this leg on there. Let's see if we can get this thing to stand up. I think it's gonna work. stuff but kind of the same and I might have to tweak the awning a little bit um, it's still a little bit wide so I might have to have uh, Bruce sew something on there or adjust it so let's see
Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Wow. So you can see towards the bus where it's it's higher up. So normally camping would be sort of on flatter ground, I think. I wouldn't really park this way. Um, if anything, it'd be a little bit downhill so we'd have more room. But, but that's a good amount of headroom. You know, over here, it's nice. And I got room for my hammock, little hammock chairs to come out. One's gonna come out right here, and one's gonna come out right here. You know, and those will sit about this far out for the doors to still open. So I think that's going to be pretty nice with the hammock chairs, little kitchen set up. Um, I might have them come up with some sort of a side curtain attachment. I think we're going to shift these over because I have about 10 inches extra on that side. So I may shift these rods over just a hair so we have a little bit of this on the ends too to dangle and then we'll make some curtains for the side we can attach. And we'll have like a nice little room that's almost 100 square feet right there. That's pretty nice. We have plenty of room for activities. Got a little table up. Got the room for the cooler, the stove, the water jug. That's a party. So that came out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. Um, I've got some little cheap uh, tent stakes. You know, if we need to tie it down, usually, you know, when you camp, you got dirt. So you can add some little tie backs to here. Keep it anchored if it gets windy. Uh, like sometimes at bus fest, it gets pretty windy. So you got to tie them down, but I dig it. Uh, so those little angle pieces, again, I got those from uh, Maker Pipe, and I'll throw the link down in the description for you guys. You can find that. EMT tubing is just three-quarter tubing I got from Home Depot. Um, they were about $6 a stick at 10 feet. They cut super easy with a grinder or a little bandsaw, something you got at home. You know, you can trim them. Um, they make fittings for those, too, but they're, they're electrical fittings, and they don't do pass-through fittings. They only do corners. So it's a lot more work. These are nice because you can take them apart pretty quick. You know, now when, once I've got the hang of it, I know where to leave the ends, not on these. I think I'd rather leave the ends on these. Same with the middle. You know, then we can get that piece in there. You just have to know where to keep them. And then uh, we'll make a bag. I am going to cut these in half and use those little extensions so I can do like a four foot piece, a four foot piece, a couple five foot pieces, you know, they'll fit in a nice little bag. I can have Bruce sew us up a little bag to uh, stuff this all into. Keep it inside the bus, you know, it was pretty easy to put up, so I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. How'd you like me struggling with that one person? Probably a two person job, I think. Uh, but let me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for me, ring the little bell. Thanks for watching.